All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of rectangles and, by definition, also squares. So basically, first off, we got to talk about what is area. An area, like if we wanted to know the area of this rectangle, basically what we're saying is how many of these unit squares would fit inside this rectangle. Now this rectangle has a base of six, which means six of these unit rectangles would go across the bottom. And it has a height of four, meaning four of these unit, rec uh, unit squares would go up the uh, side of this rectangle. And if you want to see them all, here they are. So you can see there's the six. One, two, three, four, five, six across the bottom. Then you could see the four, one, two, three, four across the side. And the area of this rectangle would be the number of squares inside this rectangle. And all we had to do is count them. Of course, a quicker way of counting these rectangle, uh, these little squares inside the rectangle is to do six times four. So really, nice efficient way of finding the area of a rectangle is to count the number of squares on the base multiply by the number of squares on the height and in this case it's going to be 6 times 4 which is 24 and then we call we say units squared because really what is 24 well we're, 24 is the number of these little square units so that's why we have this u to the second power that's a, a nice code for square units so we have 24 square units in this rectangle. All right, now if we wanted to find the area of this rectangle, remember, area of a rectangle is the number of unit squares that are necessary to fill in this entire rectangle. Well, what does the 8 mean? Well, the 8 means there are 8 unit squares across the base. What does the 5 mean? The 5 means there's 5 unit squares along the height. And if we wanted to see what that would look like, that it's going to look like that as a grid. And area is the number of unit squares inside the rectangle. So we take 8, we multiply by 5, and we get 40. And so the answer is 40 units squared. So there's 40 little square units inside this rectangle. Now the big question might be, what if we have a square? What is the number? What is the area of a square? How do you find the area of a square? Well, a square is just a special rectangle. So we're still going to multiply base times height. And in this case, it's going to be 6 times 6 is 36. So we have 36 square units. Now, if you really wanted to be sure, what does this 6 mean? 6 means there's 6 unit squares along the base. This 6 means there are 6 unit squares going along the height. 6 times 6 is 36. So the area is 36 square units.